I found a weird thing with Python PWM4. So the problem is you cannot use it for controlling servo motors. I'll show you what happens. You see, you saw that it kind of flips out a lot of time and when we look at the Python code um, it should be really obvious why. Because because let's uh, make it a bit bigger. Yeah, we have this uh, position functioning, uh, positioning function, and it takes a value between minus one and one. And it calls p dot change duty cycle to some value, and the problem is with with um, Python does not have uh, Python has problems with changing the duty cycle because changing the duty cycle is not in sync with the duty cycle. That means if we have a duty cycle of this. So this is our our frame, and we have a duty cycle of this, and we increase uh, and increase it, then and we are in this time, then we get a micro impulse of like some microseconds that will make the <coughs> motor turn to position zero. When we look at the PHP code. We see it's a much more stable movement. Why is it the case? Because we are doing the adoption of the of the duty cycle in zinc. So when we look at the PHP code, so the PHP which does software PWM, we have this kind of write one sleep, write zero, sleep. And after positioning, we're doing the next positioning. So this duty cycle always executes till its end. It's not uninterrupted, there are no micro impulses, it's a really stable thing. So, try it again. Yeah. Uh, I'm really disappointed of the Python GPIO API because you cannot use it for serious applications with servo motors. You can use it for instance like LED blinking but not more. I'm really disappointed.